All right, hello once again, you two. Welcome back to some more From the Depths. Welcome back to a extremely snazzy looking light fighter. It looks really nice in the, the different faction colors. So the black and gray with the with the red detailing. Actually, I did not know it would look like this. But yes, this fighter may look familiar because we've just been using it in a finest hour. Cause today, but today's going to be a building episode. That's why we've got the fighter here because we're going to do some tweaking to it. Uh, so we're going to kick this one out with jet technology and we're going to give it some missile launchers uh, maybe even replace the guns entirely and tweak the AI for this to become basically the equivalent of something like a Junker, a ground attacker. In fact we might leave the guns on it, we'll, yeah we'll leave the guns on it, we'll just give it some light bombs on the wingtips, make this thing into a bit of a ground attacker. So, propeller, be gone. Nose, we'll give it a bit of a, a nose cone, can we have it still kind of look like it's got the intake around it? Maybe with some tweaking we can. Okay. It's also incidentally increased the armor a little bit, but it will increase the weight. Uh, X. Anything we could do a nose cone with? Well, I suppose we could put that part back on, couldn't we, for a nose cone? Uh, what was it called? It's the propellant. Herb, isn't it? Yeah. That looks the part of a jet. Center of mass is still in line with the craft. And yeah, because of course we're we're high tech. I like I think I was maybe starting to go into the, this in like an episode earlier, and then I forgot to finish my train of thought, which I've noticed happens occasionally with me. But my kind of train of thought tech wise is that we've we're the same commander as was doing the original Nita campaign. Like we've got the same tech technically in a, in the um the oh what's it called finest hour campaign, but we've been pretending we don't, so we don't sort of screw with our timelines or anything. But now we're back on Nita, we can reaccess it. So we we're sort of converting our existing proven designs to uh to jets and whatnot. The only thing there is this does work. It is slower. How much power are we using? Not a huge amount. Can we just do a single large jet? We can, but we'll have to tune down how much power it can output. Otherwise it will use up yeah, the whole engine's worth. I think we can set it up to only use... Can we set it up to any use of it? Oh! That keeps it nice and steady. It's actually faster with the propeller. Is it actually more efficient just to keep it with the... Uh, even if it doesn't look as nice. I do actually really like it as a jet, but... Not that it flying a little bit slower is the worst thing in the world, but... It would be nice to not lose performance through supposedly upgrading it. Is that because of the extra weight I'm adding? Is that my fault? Uh, which is entirely possible. Yeah, these should probably be lightweight alloy, not metal. are also the wrong color, I just realized, but that's fine. We could always beef out the engine a little bit more, but... Yeah, it's the single cylinder, isn't it? It's generating quite a lot of power. But yeah, we are actually... technically slower as is. Do we at least maneuver a bit better? I think it's about the same. Yeah, huh. It is kind of a shame if we're going to lose performance, but I guess we're tougher and we're going to be heavier anyway because we're adding missiles, so we'll... We'll maybe go with it for the looks. It's a bit like a sort of early jet fighter. I suppose early jets were technically a bit worse than, um... Uh... Well, planes anyway. What I think we might do is we might use the wireless transmitters that someone bought up way back in the Nita campaign and we'll connect this to the wingtips of wireless, so... We do a AI... All in one controller. A wireless transmitter. Actually, no, we want the connector because we want to add some components to it. Yeah, we might widen the back of the air cockpit a little bit and put them in sort in back here. Oh. 
Ah, no, that was meant to have something in it. Yeah, I was going to say. Guess it'll have to go. Anyway. A connector here. Yeah, we can deco the some of the armor around it, although it'd be nice to have it actually armored. Hmm. That in there and we'll go. Friend or foe and staggered fire. That, and then we'll have some more yeah, some more deco parts to cover up some of that and we'll also add um, some actual physical for applique armor to uh, protect the sides there. A bit like that then I guess, yeah. Not quite as pretty but it does at least kind of make it clear that something's a little different about this one. Aside from, you know, the complete shape difference. Why are you not moving anywhere? Oh, because you've been reset to zero uh, thrust, that's why. Right, yeah, and the armor plates have disappeared off the wings. I guess that's okay. Well, we can put them back on, can't we? Those no, they're meant to be a bit open, aren't they? Because they've got the, uh, the flaps. Right. Let's add the actual missile launchers themselves. I'll put where those are, actually. That looks kind of okay. Receiver on the back. That metal panel, and then we'll do small missiles. I said I've heard someone. Uh, I believe someone said uh, fragments are good against the Onyx Watch. At least compared to um, oh, what do you call it? What have we been using at the moment? Explosives. Oh, the only thing is ammunition. I guess, given they'd be explosive anyway, we could always put ammo. on on the wingtips, but I feel like having any exposed ammo anywhere is a bad idea. Again, this thing in general is starting to get kind of chunky. Um, yeah, we could always expand the section back there, I guess, to hold it. Or even this section and just have some ammo underneath the uh, tail. No, why not? Okay. Yeah, why not? We might as well just make this thing in general heavier, and it's going to be slower already. We might as well make it a bit heavier armoured as well. Yeah, let's make it... Make it square. A bit stocky, but... It should be tough, right? Pops the wings and I expose, which is not ideal, but we can put some some other plates back on it. Go for the stripes as well. Okay. Alright, and these missiles will be fairly simple little ground attack missiles, so we'll go short range. Yeah, that's probably okay. Actually, yeah, you're you not three parts long. No, I've missed a part. That's why it seems weird. Okay. Radar Seeker. Frag. 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 And frag. Addiction Guidance. Should be okay. Ah, no, why not? A little bit of explosive in there as well. Actually, no. They're probably better pure frag, because then they'll... Um, not knock each other around. Uh, fuel seconds. I've already got like a 10 second lifetime anyway. 5 seconds. If I do... I guess fuel, yeah. I'll save this as... Small ground attack missile. Right, 
anti tank guided missile. Oh no. Add a little bit of armor to the center of this. Okay. I am wondering if it is worth reinforcing the engine because we are definitely cruising slow. Although, we have a bit more power now. 3.5? How much is that? How does it use its limit? 892. If we do 2? 8.2? 574. 3.3? 74 still. Oh, I guess it's just capping out. If we rebuild the engine, there's very little of it left, but that might be the best idea at this point, honestly. Okay, let's also kit the weapons out to different buttons. These will be number one. And the missile patrol will be... Number two, required accuracy, anything. They should probably have a half second guidance delay to they've got that one turn. Uh, that's sec. 0.5. Oh, right, they're all in the same missile system. They change one, they all change. Actually, is it guidance delay? No, it's thrust of delay they want to have a delay on, isn't it? Guidance delay should only be 0.1. Might also redesign the wings a tiny bit. Let's get this here. Let's swap this out for a uh, slightly more advanced looking uh, type of wing shape. I'm getting a bit more high tech. It's a little bit faster looking. And uh, is there any way we can boost that engine, or do we have to take the whole thing apart potentially? Not that we can't do that, but it will require a little bit of. Actually, yeah, let's take it apart. Let's do a a beefier engine design. Yeah, unsurprisingly, it blows out. Not sure there's really any internal space for fuel anywhere else, but we could always go. There's nothing there. There's nothing there, so I'll put a fuel tank in there. Put up a little bit more space. Right. I do like having that supercharger scoop, but we may have to move it. Right. So, it's going to be a twin engine, or maybe a false and uh, injector. Bit of space we've got. So, it's under one. Just accepting this one's going to be hungry, right? Uh. Now we'll probably overheat. Yes, okay. The right way around, it is. This will be a corner pipe. Not externally vented. Is that because it doesn't go down far enough? But I think it will cool down once it's actually active again. How hot is it actually going to get? 
We have gained some speed already. Yeah, models are redesigning those actually as well. Get rid of that for now. I haven't sorted this out for too long or something. Right. Should around the engine also probably wants to be metal. I think this one in general is going to be a bit more expensive and a bit heavier. Can be the uh, can become the medium fighter. It has evolved. But yes, I do think. Uh, I think I forgot to mention earlier, but yeah, I'd like the reason we're doing this at all is because I'd like to get the air force back up and running. It would be useful to have some decent planes up and running. <laughs> Uh, which I think I've completely forgot to say earlier on, so that's why. But yes, I also, the other thing we need to build, and this might be, it might be a separate episode. Actually, we'll probably be starting it today at least, is we need a heavier tank. Our current ones are not a bad design. I don't think the Moe or the Vivian are bad designs, but they're not the best against the Onyx Watch. So we probably will want a heavy, at some point at least, both a heavy gun, which will be the next, the one we'll be building. And we will want a um, a heavier anti-tank missile. The Vivians are not bad, but again, they're built for fighting faster things really more than heavier things. Let's also add in a bit of a white stripe there. Try and mirror that in the armor. Yeah, the only thing is I have to do with that, but that's fine. Yeah, I guess that should be one metal, one big metal beam, rather than multiple parts. I think the underside is actually this sort of silvery grey. Yep. Might even repaint these bits in that colour as well to match. Yes, we are now actually producing enough power to run the jet. Probably flat out, I'd imagine. That's an 80. No, it's going to overheat. 3.9. I know, it can just about run, yeah, just about run at that. Oh, this cylinder's overheating. 68. No, they're okay. It is redlining, pretty much, but we have enough power to fly back up to speed. We're not tremendously far. Oh, we do need a bit more fuel, though. We are not tremendously fast, but we are faster than we were. And we are heavier. May have to slot some fuel in behind the pilot. <laughs> a little bit of a scary place to have it, but hey ho. Do we need slightly more? Oh, 192. Run everything, okay. If we can, we need to fit another one in somewhere. Another one in there should do it. Two hundred acceptable for a minute. We should be okay. Right. Might also again change up the design a bit. Let's actually let's change this to be. Oh no. Uh, control X. Yeah, put a bit of red on it, and maybe a bit in the middle of the nose as well. Yeah, maybe the nose code should just be red. The whole thing. Also, I don't think that scoop looks quite right. We'll delete it for now, but I'd like to put sunny at the front there. Make it look a bit sleeker. Um, any of the other parts look a bit better for it? What does this look like? Not ideal. Um, Oh, hang on. Uh, advanced cannons. Can we use any of these? Do any of these look great? Any of the barrel parts? Nope. Uh, can we do something with the muzzle brakes? No. Maybe that... Uh, yeah, maybe one of the engines. The iron engine or the jet engine. Does that look alright? It sort of creates the... The nozzle effect, but it's not quite right. Hang on. Uh, we go... 
We go left, right scaling, 0 0.98. Same for this, 0 0.98. So it should be slightly smaller than the diameter of the nose. Then we do forward back scaling like 1.8. Still slightly too, still slightly too tall. Uh, five, nine, five, no, nine, four. Oh, okay, so we can't see it there. Yeah, then we paint this one black. It should look like a, yeah, it kind of looks like an intake. Not the most amazing bit of clipping I've ever done, but it looks alright. A little bit better than it did, anyway. Still handles reasonably okay. I don't know if it's amazing, but... Let's have a look at that AI and see if we can get it to stop dive-bombing things. That'd be the next thing. Break off. 50... Uh, it should be alright. In air, avoid vehicles, blah blah blah. But I know this thing has had trouble hitting things when it dive bombs. Let's give it a quick save and see how it does. So this will be the... You should not accidentally save over the same one. This will be the... 004... I still need to look up a name, but I'll do that later because I'm not quite sure what we're going to do for the naming scheme for the uh, air vehicles yet. This will be the, uh, this will be the ground attacker. We spawn an A copperhead. Let's see what it do. Strafing a motorcycle. Target leading is kind of jank. Oh, shoot. You know what else it needs? It needs detection. It can't see it. <laughs> well, no wonder it isn't flying very well. Oh, the engine burned out. Okay. So, we also need to slightly reduce power usage on this. If we do 3.75, that should... How much it wants. Yeah, it's going to have to be a bit bigger because it's going to need something to see its target with. Right. In fact, that could even be what we use as our sort of radar scoop, maybe. We could make, oh, not radar scoop, the intake scoop. We could maybe replace it with yeah, with a radar at the nose. It's kind of goofy looking, but it looks like the scoop, so I might even do that. You connect to that as well, to or transmitter to. Can you just one straight onto the part? I assume you can. Oh. Yes. A radar in the nose, and we'll maybe have a another detection component on it somewhere. I like that. I like that way of keeping the uh, intake scoop at the bottom. Typhoon looking air uh, scoop. Some jets did have uh, air intake scoops under them as well. So have on the wingtips. Uh, Let's go for the texture components. Um, no, because we turn off symmetry. Have a visual camera on one side, maybe, and a what would be best make this 3D camera or an IR camera? IR tracker on the other side. We find it will also be fighting jets, so it'll look for a jet uh, intakes, and then if we have. Section cards just on the bottom. I know they'll be a bit exposed, but not sure there's too much we can do about that. I guess we can put a little bit of a protection in front of them. Yeah, if we replace this with a, uh, a two meter wedge and then a
Interesting looking little wingtip section, but... <laughs> okay. It does cost more, but... There we're looking. Let's spawn another copperhead. Let's see if we can actually track it in a fight now. <clears throat> the radar missile should at least get a lock. Yeah, guns can actually see it now. <clears throat> Looks like they're actually firing on the engine, which I guess is the infrared tracker. Oh, it gets very low to the ground, but then again, it didn't crash. I think it's destroyed it. Okay, what about something a bit heavier? Desert Boa. Yeah, it is hitting it. Quite high damage, actually. Yeah, don't ram it. It gets very close to the ground, but... I could set that up, potentially, but... It's not crashing. It's flying as low as a tank, practically, but... Since it isn't crashing... The missiles are not tremendously maneuverable. I might even add an extra fin on them, so they can really... Sharp turn when they need to. And while it isn't super quick, it's definitely quicker than any ground vehicle. It's not lightning hoods, anyway. Let's add another fin to put the fuel tank... Where that is. Dodging cram shells like a, uh, a madman. Oh, except for that one. <clears throat> so are more maneuverable, but even they can't hit that. Look at that, it's still flying. It's minus a whole wing. Minus two wings now. <laughs> oh, I couldn't have timed that any better, could I? Let's give its wings back out. Godly mode. Let's try and get back in there. Not testing durability, it's already reasonable for an aircraft, I would say, frankly, on that matter. Let's make it fly a little higher. <coughs> Let's go for... where's the AI? Right. But I can say... 75. That should be flying 15 meters higher, which should be a bit better. Oh, yes, very maneuverable. How those missiles doing in terms of getting hits? Still struggling a little bit. A long, slightly longer delay to give the one turn a few, another half second to kick in. What can we do drop as bombs, seeing as they're on the rails? I think they need to be individual, actually, don't they, for that? Yeah. Now let's save it as is. <coughs> it's getting better. I guess maybe this entire episode might be about building this. I guess we'll be doing the tank in the next one. But again, these building episodes are so much quicker. It just doesn't take as long. Well, I mean, it helps that we've already built most of this craft, but it just doesn't take as long to build the planes as it does the boats. And it probably won't, because we're not really building any big ones. Uh, so I did point out there is a way to circumvent the the limit on the size, which is, of course, we can do sub-vehicles and dock them on. But we should probably have the missiles on full salvo. I certainly strike okay in the attack runs, anyway. System. Full salvo, please. This means it reloads fully before it shoots. Cannons are still scoring hits and look like they're still doing some damage, so I think they're okay still. Okay, I think we might be alright on this one. <clears throat> it's not... I think it actually, again, is slower than the um, the original, despite our granted jets. Let's have a quick load of the original. 
which of course is the uh, the light fighter. How fast are you? Oh, only very slightly though. Okay, yeah, no, the, the other one is probably a straight improvement then. So that is 62, this is doing 67. Oh no, it is faster. Okay. I was going to say, that would be quite awkward if it was not faster, but... Oh boy. Yeah, it made a mess of that pretty quickly. <coughs> I see crashing might still potentially be an issue though. Yeah, it'll probably handle a little bit differently because the thrust at the back, not the front, but it does seem to be a little bit more sluggish to turn, although it actually seems to be handling pretty much just as well. But yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed that. Like I say, next time we'll get to that tank I actually wanted to be working on today, but again, turned out this took a bit longer than expected. Uh, oh, one last thing before we finish. Let's repaint those wings so they match at least. There we go. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Goodbye.